Zach, how do you rate that as a night? Um, I feel like it was a very, very tough test um, against some very, very good opposition. Um, but an enjoyable one. Um, I feel like it's always nice to kind of get the opportunity to compare where you're at in terms of the levels um, when you come up against Premier League opposition. Um, but I thought the boys done themselves proud. Um, yeah. Um, it's kind of a free hit, I guess. We weren't really expected to, to turn them over, but, you know, in cup games, anything can happen. Um, you've seen it done before. But, um, but yeah, I think you can see the, the difference in quality um, in the night, in the end. Um, but, yeah, I'm proud of the boys. Um, I'm proud of the shift that all the boys put in. I think it was just, what, like you say, one of those nights where it was a little bit of a free hit and you look at the, the, the strength that they put out and that's near enough they're, they're starting 11 every week. Yeah, I was, I was quite surprised when I saw, when I saw the, their starting 11 when the team sheet came out. Um, in these kind of games, you kind of half expect them to kind of play a second string, but they, they played pretty much full strength, full strength side that you see um, comfortably in the Premier League, play every single week. So um, so yeah, it was it was it was quite it was quite exciting in terms of in terms of that and and yeah, it was a, it was a very very good experience. And one of those nights where you just think, I mean, stopping short of saying it, embarrassing, but you don't want to you don't want it to be a massive hiding, do you? Yeah, when you see the goals going in like that, you kind of you kind of think to yourself it could be it could be a long day in 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 the sense of the scoreline. Um, but I think in the end, I feel like it was it was quite respectable in the end. Um, they had they had quite a few opportunities where they where they could have or situations where they could have they could have made it more and the boys have kind of defended well it was last ditch tackles or clearances and and uh, so on and so forth um, but yeah as I said I feel like the the boys the boys done themselves proud away from the game tonight it's been a bizarre week for for you guys at MK Dons what's it been like as a as a player from the inside um, in all honesty having someone like Skip Dean Lewington in the in the dressing room um, I feel like he's kind of our comfort well he's definitely mine um, with the experience and the calmness um, he is pretty much MK Dons in a nutshell so having someone like him um, kind of take over in the in the in the meanwhile um, it hasn't been been as bad in all honesty and um, yeah, it was quite good in the sense of when you see someone like someone like him on the on the on the sidelines and he's in control of the games. Naturally, you kind of wanna you wanna give 100% for for someone like him because um, he gives 100% um, for his teammates, whether you're in his position or not. He's always willing to to give you a helping hand and give you advice and whatnot. So so yeah, it's um it hasn't been so bad. What was it like tonight with, with having Bradley in there? Because, you know, obviously he's, he's had to step in and, and, and step up as well. Yeah, Brad, not so good. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's the same. He's got, he's got like a, so much experience. He's played at the highest level himself. So um, the knowledge of the game that Brad's got, the experiences that he's also got um, is invaluable. And so it's hard not to, to respect someone like that when they have to fill in those, fill in those shoes and, and um, take on the role of, of leading the boys. Um, in a situation that, that you had to tonight. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty much the same, pretty much the same. When you've got a situation like this, is it just a case of just keeping your head down and, and coming into training every day and just, you know, doing what you do? Yeah, I think from the beginning, I feel like, you know, the club's always, always done well in terms of recruiting very good people. Um, so there's no, there's no one that's gonna, that's gonna be a distraction or, or, go, the, or go the other way or, do you know what I mean? So, so in that sense, I feel like everyone's just cracking on with it and and working hard and waiting and seeing who comes in and and um, gets the role. But whoever whoever comes in, I feel like they're they're going to be very very fortunate in the sense of they're going to be coming into a, a really 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 good dressing room of really good people. And I suppose we'll focus now on on that Boxing Day game and, and how massive it's going to be. Yeah, it's a big one, but I feel like you know. All the games are going to be big for us in terms of, you know, we're, we're definitely not where we as a club um, want to be or should be. Um, that's just a fact. So 
every single game. It doesn't matter if you're playing Portsmouth, if you're playing Ipswich, if you're playing Forest Green, whoever it is. Um, they're all big ones because there's still a lot of points to, to pick up. And in a turn of the year, if you can if you can get some some consistency and pick up a, a string of results, things can change so so quickly. You look at the points gap between us and further up the table. It's you know you get you get a little bit of consistency in the team and it ends up being not so bad. So, um, but that's down to down to us as players, it's down to the new manager, whoever that may be, to come in and give their new fresh ideas. And yeah, hopefully that, that, that comes with the consistency that we will need. And as players, just finally, are you, are you giving any inside scoop as to who's coming in? I haven't got a clue. I'm asking the questions all the time as well. So I'm always chatting to Ant and, and Cal, uh, trying to get the inside information, but Everyone's keeping stum, so yeah. So, uh, no more cup distractions. All hands <coughs> on deck for the league effort. Yeah. Um, in all honesty, I don't feel like the cup games were a distraction. I feel like it's been a massive opportunity um, for players to to show that they're they're good enough to get an opportunity in the league. If you look at the likes of myself, for example, games like Watford and and Sutton and their their games where players that are that aren't aren't in the mix can kind of show what they're about. Um, so I feel like it hasn't really been a distraction as such. I feel like it's been quite good for the group and for the morale, keeping everyone happy with the game time. But yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's business time now. So um, yeah, all eyes on, on the league, and yeah, we need to focus on getting some consistency and getting them points on the board. Especially as well as there's been wins in the cup games as well to help boost morale when there's been tends to dip in the league stuff. And, Say that again, sorry? Sorry, I'm numb with the wording. But yeah, there's been lots of uh, cup wins in the interim side of the season to just keep the momentum ticking over, making sure that you're able to win the games. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's all about getting the momentum, you know. It's just so important in football. Um, however you get it, the easiest way to get momentum is, is by winning games. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can we can make that a habit. I think I spoke to you guys after the Chartman game and I was saying conceding goals and lose, losing can become a habit and it's the same as winning. So um, yeah, we need to flip that and um, and make winning a habit for sure. Was there a couple of runs during the game as well? Was it case just advance to see what comes of it? Um, I just picked up the ball and ran as far as I can with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I, I feel like that's just part of enjoying it. Um, yeah, I feel like games like tonight, if you can't, express yourself or you're kind of fearful and stuff I feel like what's the point in playing um, so yeah that was that was a bit of fun I, I enjoyed it I enjoy uh, when I get the opportunity um, yeah making runs like that when it's when it's on um, but yeah it was uh, yeah enjoyable